y'all doing today? I want to tell you something real quick. Everybody has problems. I'm 48 years old. My father was an alcoholic. My dad used to beat my mom, beat my sister, beat me. Until I got about 16 pound fit. Got a little older, got a little stronger, said enough was enough. Why do I tell you this? The reason I'm sharing this with you is because I know what it's like to come home and it'd be a roll of the dice with a towel going to be on in the house. I know what it's like to open a refrigerator and the only thing be in there is a whole half empty box of baking soda. Nothing to eat. I was working from the time I was 14 to provide clothes for me and my sister, to help feed me and my sister and my mom, and to help keep power in the house. Why do I tell you this personal thing? People aren't that different. We all have problems. We all have issues. But I believe in God. God got a hold of me, and he led me down a path. He's going to open doors for you. You have to be smart enough to walk through those doors and go to what he offers you. I decided that I wasn't going to use my past. I was angry for a long time, y'all. I was mad until I put him in the dirt. When I buried him, wasn't a lot of people that showed up, but when I buried him, I was still mad. It took me a long time to forgive him. You have to forgive things in life. You can't, it, it's easier to hate than it is to forgive. Why do I tell you this? Because by forgiving my father at the age of 40, and I'm 48 now, I was a reserve deputy for about four or five years. I was making about 65 to 70 grand a year running a grocery store. I was doing well for me and my family. But I got a call that said, you're gonna go do this. So I could either walk down that path that God gave me, or I could stay where the money was. We don't make a lot of money doing what we do. But we do it because we love people. We want to change lives. We want to help people. Whether you want to believe it or not, I know what it's like to come home and get my behind tore up just because I'm breathing. I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like to wipe the tears from my mama's eyes when she's crying. I've been down that road. But the reason I tell you this is because I either at that point could have used that as a crutch and said the world owes me something because I was dealt a bad card when I was young. Or I could use that as a point to say, not this one, not me, not my family I'm going to raise. I'm going to change this path. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to stop that circle. It's not going to go around anymore. Breaking the cycle. That's why I got into law enforcement at 40 years old. Lord, y'all know how hard it was for my old behind to go to that academy and keep up with the kids. <laughs> They'll tell you all the time, I'm going to run a mini 18, 19 year old boy down around here. And I said, look, got called by an old man. How'd that feel? All right, that's going to knock some swag off of you for sure. But then I talked to him. I want to understand what your problems are. Don't ever be afraid to come up and talk to us. Don't ever be afraid to. If you need something, you come to the sheriff's office and you can ask anybody. They'll come out there and talk to you. Everybody's got issues and problems. Everybody's got things going on. But like the lieutenant said earlier, addiction's a beast, y'all. Everybody's wired differently. Some people can take a drink and that be enough. Other people, it hits something wrong in their brain and they got to have it. You ever seen somebody that drinks a lot, first thing in the morning they like that. So they get that nip and it gets real steady. Same thing with drugs. Y'all, when you get marijuana from somebody, that's not a pharmacist you're getting it from. We are seeing fentanyl now. Fentanyl is 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine. What they're doing is, they're putting fentanyl in marijuana, they're sprinkling it on there. They're cutting heroin with it. They're putting it in cocaine. That's because the first time you get on that, you're going to go back and say, man, what was that you gave me? Good Lord. Then he's going to introduce you to fentanyl and it's over with. It's done. It's through. But that's why I wanted to tell you, you can change the outcome of your life, no matter what cards you're dealt, but you got to make that decision. you got to give it over to God. That's all i got for you. Thank you. This is Officer Journey. He is from the Orangeburg Sheriff's Department. Is that right? Okay, I got it right now. And uh, he gave a very important conversation or speech to these young people. I heard you say when we were off camera that it was important that we got at least one. I know both of you said that. But you also said 
you want more than one. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Um, we always see that saying about whatever subject is with young people in schools, that if you're teaching them something, you they say, if we, if we just got one student, at least that, that would help out. But I'm more about, let's get them all. Let's, let's, let's teach them all what they need not to stay away from substance abuse and drugs and things in, in, the, in the area. And I'm from this area, and Orangeburg Wilkinson is a big part of the Orangeburg County area in this district. And anything I can do to improve relations with the Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Ravenel that I work for, and uh, Orangeburg, Orangeburg Wilkinson high school it's just a great thing an opportunity to be here to speak with these kids today and you, I, I believe your message was uh, thought heart-provoking or heartfelt and it was very strong and, and sincere and I guess that's the most important part about this whole process now tell us your name my name is Donald Bowen D-O-N-A-L-D B-O-Y-N-E I'm an investigator in the narcotics division at the Orangeburg County Sheriff's Office and you said you started this when you were 40 years old Yes, sir. That's a calling. I, obviously, that's a calling. It's not just a, a job. And you were making much more working in a supermarket. Which supermarket was that? If you want? I uh, work for Bilo's and Piggly Wiggly's, okay. and uh, as well as uh, Food Line. Okay. As a matter of fact, I think I remember you from there some years ago here in this area. Uh, in Columbia. In Columbia, yeah. I think I do remember your face. Yes, sir. But. Uh, you said you can run these young fellas down. That was not only you're running them down physically, but spiritually and emotionally you're running them down, which is really important. Absolutely. I think a lot of people have a tendency to forget, yes, we are law enforcement. Our job is to enforce laws, but we also protect our community. We are part of this community. We shop in the community. We worship in the community. We raise our families in the community. Therefore, it's just as important to us as it is anybody else. When we have the chance to come together like this and our sheriff, Mr. Ravenel gives us the opportunity to come and speak at these things. It, I think it brings us closer together. The reason I said what I said up there is we're not that different. Everybody bleeds red. Everybody. So that's God's little punchline to let us know that we're all the same. And in today's society, um, with drugs being what they are, it has impacted every single household, every single race every single community. I don't care who you are, what you are. Maybe once upon a time it might have leaned in one particular direction. Now it's unfortunate, it's everywhere. And so your job has become all the more important, speaking to everybody, and it makes so, so much sense, I guess. I guess is what you're saying. Absolutely, and it crosses all socioeconomic lines. It's not just here, there, or anywhere. It's everywhere. It's worldwide. We have a, we have a plague that's among us now. And we're trying to combat that. But education, knowledge, and wisdom, these things, if we'll glean from each other and stop and long enough to listen to each other, we can accomplish this. But it's going to take all of us working together. There's going to be hard days. There's going to be good days. But we just got to stay strong. Well, I can say, I can say this was a good day. Absolutely. This was a day where you guys came here and you had an impact upon young people's lives and adults. Because I learned something today, as, as one of the board members had just pointed out, Mr. Stevens, he said he learned something. So we hope that this will continue. Uh, they did talk about North and they talked about Bowman. And those are rural areas. Are rural areas just as impacted as are the, the larger metropolitan area like Orangeburg? Absolutely they are. If not so worse. If not so worse. It's and it's it, you know, we are a rural community. Therefore, we're we're numbered in how many people we have working at one time. So it's 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 a broad. It's 1,190 square miles in Orangeburg County. Well, gentlemen, we thank you both for what you continue to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Hey everyone, this is Kaya Stokes with New Perspectives and I'm here at the Substance Abuse Program events here with some of the students from Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. So, what did you learn today? Um, I learned that it's important to stay drug free and because since I'm an athlete, drugs can like affect my game and make me tired and I really like to play, I really love the game of basketball so um, I try to, I do my best not to do drugs or put myself in predicaments where I can't get myself out of getting in trouble or get kicked out of school because without school I can't go to college and without college I can't live up my dream that I want to become in life. So it's important for me to stay drug free. What three words would you use to describe today's speech? Inspiring, powerful, and encouraging. And why would you say that? Because it's inspiring me to not listen to peer pressure and follow the right way.
Okay, and the same question for you. What three words would you say, you know, took over the speech? Um, I would say encouraging and inspiring, and it, like, teaches you a lot. So, um, hmm, I don't know. But, yeah, I would say that because it, like, teaches you, like, don't do drugs because drugs will really affect you, and addiction is real. So just stay away from drugs.